tell me you just got a little dog. Mm -hmm. Fox. Tell me about the fox. He's fox. In a little basket right now. Okay. Yeah, he's hanging photos. out. <laughs> yeah, I see a couple photos with Fox and I. Um, Fox is great, man. I, I always great. grew up with dogs. And yeah, you did. Yeah, I had first I had a, a little dachshund <laughs> that we called an asthma hound chihuahua because uh, she smelled and was you know just strange dog, really? strange dog and always wheezed. So we made up that name. But her name was Dancer. She was great. And then most of my life, 14 years growing up as a kid, I had Falco. He was a 100 pound yellow lab, just this huge alpha male. Great, great dog. He actually passed away when I was filming a big time movie up in Canada. So that was kind of hard because I wasn't home, couldn't go home. But, you know, it was actually, it was right before then that I was in Canada filming this movie that I was getting a little bit lonely. You know, yeah, there's people up there, but I, I've never really been to Canada. I didn't have many friends in Vancouver. And besides the band and the crew, we'd go out to dinner with once in a while. There's times where you just get, you know, poor. You know, you go to the gym and, you know, go to a ride yeah. restaurant so much. So I really wanted a dog and looked around up there, didn't find one. You know that I connected with, looked at adopting them, and it just was hard with the filming schedule. Anyways, I found Fox. I found this breed uh, called, called Alaskan Klee Kai. I always liked big dogs, but I couldn't really bring a big dog on the road. So to me, the breed was so cool because it's supposed to be a very intellectual breed that looks like a big dog, looks like a husky, but isn't that big. And frankly, I thought Fox was going to be like 15, 20 pounds. He's he's eight. I'm cool. Yeah, <laughs> he's that's it for one. He might get to be 10 if he fills out a little bit. But yeah. as much as I was kind of had that like male ego of like, oh, I'm such a small dog to begin with. He's the greatest dog. I love him, and it's perfect. Just traveling with him is so easy. So he goes with you everywhere. He goes everywhere, man. The dog's been around oh, the cool. country and the world. Yeah, that's wonderful. And, and you found him where? I found him uh, in Chicago. Okay. Yeah. But you didn't know about this breed, or? No, just it was when uh, researching breeds, researching you know smaller dogs that were smart and not that yappy. And, Look, you know, trying to find a cool dog as well, and you never know. It really depends on the personality of a dog. And a lot of the dogs that I looked at adopting, I have to be a little careful with because a lot of people warned me and said adopting a dog would be great, but if they're going to be around a lot of people, you might want to consider uh, not consider that because they can be temperamental. And a lot of my fans are kids, and I bring Fox in front of fans, so he's wonderful. But I couldn't risk having a dog that might bite somebody. And, you know, I mean, it's it's a strange thing to think about because I bring my dog everywhere. I really had to make sure that. Um, I have a sweet dog, so I got him as a puppy, and even though it's been a little hard, yep. I love him, and he's been raised around so many people. He's the sweetest dog. He's never bite a soul. You know, he's uh, he's pretty cool. What's up, guys? I'm James Maslow, and be sure to check out LATF Magazine.